Dear Mom, Yesterday would have been your 50th birthday. It's been eight years since you passed away on that April day. The flowers had just started blooming and everything was coming alive. Spring has never felt quite the same. I was 19 at the time and there were still so many things we had yet to say to each other. I never told you that I forgave you for kicking me out of the house, but I do. And I don't think you ever said that you forgave me for being such a tough kid to raise, but I know that you do. I feel robbed by your death, like we lost out on the friendship that we would have developed had we been given a few more years to let our relationship grow. Sometimes I get a little jealous of other people my age who get to call up their moms for random advice or ideas. But even as I feel your loss, I still feel your presence in my life. I just found an old letter you wrote to me. I found these photos of us together. Sonia from Boston says the flowers that you planted are still coming back each year. And Julia in Florida wears your heart bracelet every day. Me and Ben and Asa are living good lives with the lessons that you taught us as you raised us. And I feel like I can still get to know you through the impact that you made on so many people. Tony says he was inspired by your strong beliefs. Farron says that getting to sleep over your house when she was young was something that she'd brag to her middle school pals about, and she remembers how you taught her how to make lip balm. Joe says that you used to make him crack up with your funny songs. And Liz says that she never told you, but she always looked up to you as her big sister and misses your laughter and jokes. Alyssa wrote, you have become the plump strawberries in your garden, the butterfly nestling upon a golden sunflower, the leaves twisting for a taste and thirst of sun, the bumblebee in my teacup. I love you, I miss you, even as I see your continued impact. Thank you.